नमस्कार मैं हूं अनंजन एंड आज हम लोग यूनिवर्सल ऑडियो का 6176 चैनल स्ट्रिप के बारे में हम लोग बातें करने वाले हैं इन 6176 वी हैव द 610 ट्यूब प्री एम्पलीफायर एंड 1176 फेट कंप्रेसर्स टुगेदर एंड आल्सो सम इक्यू ऑप्शंस व्हिच इज द पार्ट ऑफ द 610 प्री एम्पलीफायर्स सो इन आवर यूनिवर्सल ऑडियो 6176 चैनल स्ट्रिप व्हिच इज बेसिकली द 610 बी ट्यूब एम्पलीफायर्स प्री एम्पलीफायर एंड 1176 Ln version of the FET compressor, which is the very famous FET compressor. So, what this does, and what are the knobs and everything? Let me just go through it. So, basically, this is the tube saturation knob. So, basically, or you can call it as the main uh, gain for the tube. And so, basically, if you want a saturated sound, you basically go for this knob. Normally, it stays at zero, and uh, If we really want to saturate the sound, then we basically put it up. Or normally, normally in this stage for any instrument, some for some instruments, as a hota hai ki is situation me or is situation me the gain is too loud. In that case, we have to bring it down and adjust the main volume with this because this is the main volume of the preamplifier, which is the output volume of the preamplifier. So this is the input volume of the preamplifier. This is the output volume of the preamplifier. This is the attenuation pad on or off. This is the phase in or out. This is the uh, this is for the line level input uh, or any kind of TRS input. Now this is basically impedance selector of mic level or line level. So this and this these are two uh, modes of mic level impedance, and these are the two knobs, and these are basically the two knobs of line level impedance and in this level basically this gives you a different kind of texture for line level so this is the impedance selector this is the saturation knob mostly saturation knob or, or the main input gain and this is the output gain which you select for the um, output of the tube preamplifier now in the channel strip we have basically two options one is split and one is join So if you split it basically this works individually. So this has a separate output in the back panel and this has a separate output for of, of the back in the back panel but basically I am using it as a channel strip. So I use it with the compressor because I have another option of either using or not using a compressor is basically with the bypass of the uh, 1176. So I basically use it with in the joint mode. So even if this is the main volume, but actually the output of this whole thing is coming out from the output knob of the channel strip. So basically, ये हो गया हमारा preamp section. This is the EQ section. So this is the volume for high frequency, and this is the volume for low frequency. And this the the frequency selectors are this. This is 70 hertz. This is 100 hertz. This is 200 hertz. And this is 400 hertz. 4000 hertz. This is, I think, this is. Um, 700, 7000 hertz, and this is 10k. So this is 4k, 7k, and 10k, and this is 70, 100, and 200. I think something like that. You can also check out this uh, thing because somehow the readings have gone off. You can check out these things in our uh, Universal Audio plugins. And so this is basically the preamp. It's an amazing preamp if you want good um, hot signals of any kind of. Uh, input source you can have an amazing result with this preamplifier and of course we have the phantom power on or off which is here i'm not toggle it off because of the of the obvious reasons now this is the 1176 fet compressor now just to uh, go through rundown of the fet compressor is firstly this is the input switch which basically acts as the input of the compressor or the threshold of the compressor so the more input it has the more gain reduction it can have so this is the gain reduction or the compressor or the output or the preamplifier meter so you can also see the preamplifier mode or the gain reduction mode or the output of the compressor mode in this view meter and then basically this is the uh, this is the ratio knob of the for the compressor good part is that this has a 1 is to 1 ratio now normally theoretically 1 is to 1 ratio doesn't give you any kind of compression बट इन माई एक्सपीरियंस मैं ये देख ये देख चुके देख चुका हूँ कि बेसिकली इन वन इज टू वन रेशियो मोड वे गेट अ गुड पुश 
or with, with a very good pressure in the recordings. I mean, suppose we are recording a guitar, you can really get a good thump in the strumming of the guitar in the one is to one ratio. So if you don't want to have any compression in your recording, uh, normally we don't require any compression in, in the recording stage until and unless it is really uh, really intended to do a compressed recording. So you can use this one is to one settings for your compressor. So this is the uh, attack time and this is the release time. But as we all know that FET compressor may it, it doesn't works in the reverse way. Basically, kya hota hai? Uh, in, in other compressors, the attack time is basically in this this mode. This is the fastest. And the, we, as we grow, this is the slowest because the time is more. And also for the release, this is the fastest and then this is the slowest. For, for, for 1176 compressors, this is the slowest and this is the fastest. So the readings are basically numbers, they are not seconds or milliseconds. So basically these are, uh, this is the slowest and this is the fastest. So according to your input source, you select the uh, attack time and release time normally I put it into like six six or five six five or something like that if it is guitar or drums I put it into seven and the release time I always put it around five because that's a moderate release time and this is the output this is basically the output of the compressor and this and if I have if, if I have hotter signals coming then I basically come down here or sometimes I come down here so that is basically the settings of the Universal Audio 6176 preamplifier or channel strip and the 1176 compressor which, which I record only for recording. Okay, thank you. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and we will see you in the next video.